and now uh, again English England Marcus Armitage for dad yes So my dad, uh, quite a, an angry film. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> with a lot of energy. Yeah. In it, uh, I was wondering when I saw the film. You know, how did you uh, do it? Uh, 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 was the beginning of the creation, uh, the creation of the film? Yeah, um, it started with a lot of research. I think the film. Um, I was really interested in kind of where racism comes from, uh, and at, kind of at the time in England. We were being constantly harassed by, in the media, immigration, immigration. Um, and, yeah, it was making me quite angry. Um, so, yeah, it started from there, doing lots of research. Where did racism come from? Um, and, yeah, I started looking at how kind of racism and opinions are kind of passed down through the family. And that was really interesting. And kind of racism in children as well, which is quite a really interesting subject because children can often kind of get opinions that they don't quite understand yet. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where it started. And it works, it, it works well between this kid uh, repeating the same word yeah. all over again. Or, or did you uh, do that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, the whole film was kind of made very loosely. Um, I kind of animated bits, wrote bits, then animated some more. Um, and that, that, those words were kind of, I just wrote a huge list of words that a kind of kid might say about their dad. Um, and then, yeah, gradually those, those kind of racist words and those very judgmental words start to seep in and you kind of see how he's changing. How did you get the, the, voice, the voice of the actor? Uh, yeah, you? well, um, the voice, he came into college and uh, I recorded with him. Um, he's, I think he's probably about 30 something. Uh, so he's just had a really good kid's voice. Um, I actually kind of auditioned quite a few different actors and their kids' voices were terrible. Uh, so this guy was really good, so I had to go with him. Um, and yeah, it was just really good fun. He had to just read out this huge list of words, and I cut them up and put them in different orders. How, how did you manage? Because just, just to read out, I mean, when you, when you see the film, it's not just, I mean, yeah. there's a really a scary things going on, you know, with this voice and these yeah. kids plunging like that, and, you know, going deeper and deeper yeah. in this craziness like his father. Yeah. It was quite. Um, it was. It was. It was fun to make. You know, to play with it and to kind of to get the actor to shout these words out. Um, and kind of, we did it on different levels. So we did a whole like run through the words on kind of level one, where he'd say them nicely, and then level two, and then we do a level ten, um, and we kind of worked like that. Uh, and that was. It was great fun and just the whole editing process. It, the film kind of changed every day until the very end. I was kind of re-edit it and until the pacing was right, and you kind of really got that. Uh, kind of progression, and there's yeah. a progression also in the in the images because yeah. the racism is is there at the beginning, but we don't really understand it, and more it goes and more it's really strike us like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was kind of I, I had it kind of it split into kind of three different worlds. Um, there's kind of the black and white memory bit, which is fairly obvious, but I think it needed to be quite obvious in this film because there's quite a lot going on, um, and then the colourful world of the kind of child that he's exploring. Um, London's a very multicultural place, so it's about the kind of him exploring that, and then there's the very intense protest bit, uh, and I kind of just cut between those and use those as pacing elements to yeah make the film. There is a real uh, again I'm so, I said that before, but energy yeah. in the film you're just taken by the film uh, you know from the beginning until the end. Yeah. Uh, again, for me it was like, <laughs> uh, uh, did you manage to do that? It was really yeah. like like you said. One uh, one scene and well we go to another one. It's yeah. like I have to do it quickly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, there the, the drawing was very quickly. Yeah. Um, I mean, I st I started the film very late because I was working on another film, which I uh, about Christmas time I decided to get rid of, uh, and so I started this one quite late, and I knew it had to be fast. So and I'd been experimenting with drawing with these oil pastels, and they were just so quick to use. So. Yeah, it's kind of the whole film is made in a very violent way as well. Um, and yeah, I just wanted it to start with a bang and kind of end with a bang as well. And that was kind of my whole aim the whole time. So and it's, it's great because it's difficult now today with all the, you know, post-production yeah. you have in animation. Sometimes it's <laughs> going, there is losing, it's losing the, it's, mm. the, its energy yeah. that you, you keep. If yeah, you I wanted that film. to feel very raw and just, it's just the drawings uh, 
just yeah, scan the drawings in and put them on the screen. So uh, that's all it is. What about after the, after a, a strong film like that? Uh, well, it's difficult to do commercial. I mean, with <laughs> yeah. <this style. laughs> um, Luckily, I can do kind of, I think I've been doing lots of cutout animation as well. So I've kind of separated myself into two different ways. Uh, I do uh, lots of cutout stuff for commercials. I'm now a commercials director, so I do lots of cutouts and hand drawn stuff. And then I'm also just working on making films in that way, I guess. Uh, so yeah, split myself into a fun side and a serious side. Uh, so yeah. And taking money from one to do the the other? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, um, yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I'm doing now. Um, I've got a week of work next week, and then I take a month off to write a film. So yeah, that, uh, that's gonna work. what we have to do in England. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If if no one is going to help you do it, you just got to do it yourself. And it's a big change from Royal College of Art because John Ashworth just said that she was leaving. Yeah. Uh, that was something. I mean, she really helped the school and yeah. gave a lot of uh, get a lot of get a lot to the school. Get yeah, she did. And it's kind of it's sad that she's leaving in such kind of strange circumstances as well. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going to happen at the Royal College now, but hopefully it'll be okay. Is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 that, that's all right. And it, it's, it's a real school. There is a lot of freedom in this school, really. Like, we, we can feel watching all this film, all these different film. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why I went there in the first place, is I knew that so many people do different things. Uh, and there's, yeah, so much freedom. And you just learn from being in a room with all these great people uh, and just sitting next to somebody else, you know, and you just steal what they're doing. If they're doing something on After Effects, you can learn it. Um, it's just a great, yeah, really creative place. And I just, yeah, I loved every second of it there. And can you go to the other, you know, students who we went there like uh, for years before and uh, call them and say, okay, I'm from LCLIQ yeah, like you and uh, <laughs> yeah, can we? Yeah, I think there's, that thing exists kind of everywhere, like even in like work and going to, you know, different jobs and you always bump into people from the RCA and places that you know and it's always really fun. And well, where I'm working at the moment, there's kind of free people from the RCA there. So it's like being there again anyway and causing a bit of a, a mess, so yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Cool. Thank, thank you. you.